Imagine if you could send a wish straight into the cosmos and watch it manifest. What if I told you that the secret lies not in the celestial bodies, but within the energy you radiate? The art of manifestation is not magic. It's about mastering the vibrational energies that connect every aspect of the universe, including us. Every breath you take, every move you make, every bite you eat, and every emotion you feel dances to the tune of energy. Today, we uncover five essential tips to harness your inner power and turn your dreams into reality. If this is the first time you watch my video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, by the way. Here, we weave together personal and spiritual growth with a motivational spark, often illuminating our discussions with a touch of science. It's all about unlocking your life's full abundance and stepping into your power. At the fundamental level, everything in the universe is composed of atoms, which are perpetually in motion. This motion ensures that all matter, ourselves included, is essentially energy vibrating at various frequencies. The law of vibration posits that every entity, whether seen or unseen, vibrates at a specific frequency. It serves as a foundation for the law of attraction, which suggests that like attracts like by aligning our vibrational frequency with the energy of our desires through positive thoughts and emotions, we can attract similar energies into our life. Essentially, our vibrational state acts as a magnet in the universe, drawing experiences that are in harmony with our inner frequency, fulfilling the principle of the law of attraction. Remember, we do not attract what we want, we only attract what we already are. In the pursuit of manifesting our dreams, it's imperative to understand the concept of energy as mapped out by David Hawkins. His map of consciousness proposes a fascinating framework that categorizes the various emotional states according to their vibrational frequencies, each with a corresponding level of power or force. David Hawkins' scale suggests that emotions like shame, guilt, apathy, grief, Fear, desire, anger, and pride resonate below the threshold of 200, signifying lower consciousness. These lower vibrations can trap us in weakness, halting progress and healing. Shame and guilt bind us to past errors, apathy and grief, engulf us in sorrow, while fear and desire can lead to anxiety and unfulfilled yearning. Anger provides energy but often drives aggression and pride, while seemingly positive, hides vulnerability. Surpassing the level of 200, energies shift from debilitating force to empowering strength. Courage opens the door to empowerment, followed by neutrality and willingness, which bring optimism and adaptability. Acceptance invites forgiveness, and reason offers clarity. At a higher vibration, love promotes altruism and joy brings serenity. Peace reflects deep spiritual connection, marking a significant leap towards unity. The apex of Hawkins' scale is enlightenment ranging from 700 to 1000. This peak represents profound unity with all, typified by saints and spiritual leaders, and is the epitome of human consciousness. Awareness of this scale enables us to consciously transition from lower energies to higher, life-affirming ones. This understanding grants us the ability to elevate our well-being and align with the frequencies of our highest potential. So, practically how to raise your vibration. The first step is to understand and reframe your beliefs of who you are. Let me ask you a few questions. Who do you think you truly are? Are you just your job title bound by the numbers on your paycheck? Are you defined by the candles on your birthday cake living a life scripted by age? Or are you the spark of your deepest passions, crafting joy every day? Now think about this. What if you believed you could be more? We all have an energy field around us, and within it, there are standing waves that represent our beliefs. These beliefs create a filter through which we see the world and dictate what we think we deserve in life. 
whether it's how people treat us or what kind of situations we find ourselves in. To change our lives for the better and increase our vibration, we need to change these standing waves. That are our beliefs. The process starts with awareness. Once we're aware of our beliefs and how they're shaping our reality, we can make a conscious choice to change them. This isn't always easy because our beliefs are often deeply ingrained, but it's possible. But here comes the crossroad of doubts. Is it really possible to change who I am or is my identity fixed? Will changing my beliefs really make me happier or just more confused? Um, and how do I know which beliefs are right and which ones to let go of? In fact, if you believe change is hard, that belief itself makes change difficult. If you see yourself only as a result of your past, you'll find it hard to evolve into something new. It might initially cause confusion as you navigate new ways of thinking, but that's a natural part of growth and often leads to a more authentic and fulfilling life. The rights beliefs are those that resonate with your core values and your current desires and help you to live authentically and harmoniously. If a belief is causing you distress, limiting your growth, or feels out of sync with your values, it may be time to let it go. So stay open to changes and recognize that we are new in every moment. We can let go of the old narratives about who we are and decide to adopt new ones. This is the essence of transformation. By allowing ourselves to shift our beliefs, we can raise our vibration permanently. Commit to practices such as meditation and positive affirmation for at least 21 days can help consolidate new identity. Remember, you are meant to experience joy, love, and peace. Your true nature isn't bound by any past narrative. Release attachments and choose a new, better you in the present moment, allowing yourself to vibrate higher and step into a life aligned with your highest self. Second, is to take your highest excitement. Follow your bliss. Every day you get to pick what you do. Identify what exhilarates you. Those moments that bring a genuine smile to your face and make you feel excited. It could be something as simple as a morning jog, painting, dancing, or the joy of a deep conversation. When you choose to engage with your highest excitement, you align with your core essence. This alignment is powerful it resonates deeply within you, creating ripples that extend beyond the moment, elevating your overall vibrational frequency. It's natural to wonder, how can I possibly make room for what I love in my already full schedule? In fact, embracing your passions isn't about choosing pleasure over responsibility. It's about understanding that your most joyful moments are when you're most empowered. In this empowered state, you have the potential to craft a life that is not only satisfying to you, but also contributes positively to those around you. It doesn't mean a drastic change to your life. It's about integrating your passions into your everyday routine. It's about capturing that beautiful sunrise on your morning jog, read a book, or simply enjoy a cup of coffee in silence. While these snippets of joy might appear minor, their collective impact on your overall happiness and productivity is significant. Consider the times you felt disheartened or despondent. Did you notice a dip in your productivity and ability to meet your responsibilities? Now, flip that. When you're engaged in activities that lift your spirits, you'll likely find that energy and effectiveness in your tasks improve. Integrating what you love into your daily life is not a distraction. Rather, it's a catalyst for living more fully, both personally and professionally. So, ask yourself, what excites me? Let that question be your guide to a vibrantly high vibrating life. One significant obstacle many selfless individuals face is the belief that they don't deserve to prioritize their own happiness. Often, they devote all their time and energy to their family or others, neglecting their own needs and desires. This can lead to a life that feels unfulfilled and one-dimensional. If you find yourself in this situation, take a moment to reflect with a critical question. 
If I don't allow myself the time for joy and personal growth, how can I give my best to the people I care for? It's a crucial inquiry because neglecting your own well-being can inadvertently lead to resentment and burnout, which affects not only you but also those you love. Remember that self-care is not selfish. When you're in tune with your highest excitement, you're not just living, you're thriving. If you're eager to dive deeper into discovering your passion, I've crafted a video about this topic in detail. Go watch it if you're interested. Third is to cultivate a heart of gratitude, which can be your quickest and most profound vibrational booster. Now you might think, gratitude is tough when life seems like a constant battle. But let's pause for a moment to reflect. If you have food in your fridge, clothes on your body, a roof over your head and a place to sleep, you're wealthier than seven billion of people in the entire world. If you have money to spend in your wallet and the freedom to go anywhere as you wish, you are among the top 15s of the world's richest people. In terms of health, every day of wellness is a gift. The World Health Organization reports that non-communicable diseases claim 41 million lives each year. So if you have more health than illness, you are luckier than at least millions of people around the globe. Lastly, if you can read and understand this message, you are more fortunate than 780 million people in the world who cannot read and cannot access the knowledge and information that surrounds us. So, I want to ask, do you see yourself among the fortunate few on this vast planet? The biggest problem is that we scrutinize what's missing in our lives, peering through a magnifying glass at unmet wants or unfulfilled dreams, leading to feelings of scarcity, discontent, and sadness. But imagine if we flipped the lens, what if we zoomed in on our wealth of blessings instead? You can begin this practice in the simplest of ways. Acknowledge one thing you're grateful for each morning and one more before you drift to sleep. It could be as simple as being grateful for the morning coffee or the comfort of your pillow. These small acknowledgments can snowball into a more profound sense of appreciation for life's blessings. And through it, elevating your vibrational state to consistent appreciation and positivity. The fourth tip is all about making sure you're surrounded by positivity. This means looking at the things and people in your life and asking yourself if they help you feel good or bring you down. It's not always easy, but letting go of stuff and relationships that don't make you happy anymore is important. You shouldn't have to force yourself to fit in where it doesn't feel right. Think about the places you go to and the people you spend time with. Do they make you feel good? Do they make you smile and feel relaxed? If the answer is no, it might be time to make some changes. You don't have to make big moves all at once. Start small. Maybe tidy up your space so it feels nice and calm. Spend a little less time with people who stress you out and a little more with those who make you laugh. Remember, you're the one who gets to decide what your life looks like. Choose the things that make you feel light and happy. That way, you're building a life that's full of good vibes. The fifth tip to uplift your vibration permanently is to immerse yourself during visualization, infused with profound emotion. When you close your eyes and envision your aspirations, don't just paint a mental picture. Let the scene stir you, touching your emotions so deeply that you might even find tears of joy streaming down your face. During this visualization, allow yourself to feel the exhilaration of success, the warmth of connection, and the satisfaction of achievement as if it were already your reality. Feel the touch of imagined moments as if they were tangible, Embrace the emotions they bring and whisper to yourself with heartfelt conviction. Oh, I've got this. Thank you. This practice isn't just about wishful thinking. It's an acknowledgement of your forthcoming victories and a celebration of their inevitability. Remember, the things you can vividly visualize and emotionally connect with are often on the brink of manifesting in your life. By actively engaging in this process, you're not just hoping for a brighter future. 
You're creating the vibrational conditions to welcome it. Now, you've learned to manifest your dreams quickly. By understanding we're made of energy, our vibes can attract what we want. We've seen how changing our beliefs can lift our energy. Get excited about your passions. Be thankful every day. Be around joy and visualize your dreams with strong feelings. The universe responds to your energy, not just what you do. So live with the energy of your dreams and the universe will help make them real. You're not just hoping for change. You're making it happen. Every step and thought helps create the life you want. Let your energy work for you and see your dreams grow. Keep moving forward knowing you have the power to manifest your desires. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for the notification. Because every week I release a video like this and also three to four shorts for motivation and inspiration. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon. Thank you.